What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use and configure the widgets on your iPhone home screen. Let's get started. So what we're looking at here is my iPhone 11 Pro and you'll notice at the top I have two widgets that I've added in. Now these widgets can do various things. For example, this one is just a simple battery widget that's showing me all the battery power of all of my connected Apple devices. You also can see there's a clock here, but this is actually a smart stack that I can swipe up and down between different things. So I've got my clock, notes, and I've got my calendar. Now the way you add these widgets in is extremely simple. All you're gonna do is just tap and hold on the screen. When everything starts shaking, you're gonna tap on the plus at the top left. Now from there, it's gonna open up a whole bunch of different widgets that you can add into your system. So you can see you have stocks, screen time, and so on, and you can scroll all the way down here, and then you can even add individual features right into this. So for example, let's say I wanted to add a fitness activity widget. I would tap on it, tap add widget, and now you can see I've got the third widget there. So this is how it's going to look. You can position them just by holding and sort of dragging them where you want. So if you want them in different positions. And there is that smart stack that I talked about. If you tap and hold, we'll just go back to it. Right there. If you tap on it, what it's going to do is sort of automatically rotate between widgets to show the most relevant information based on how you've been using this device. So if you like that, you can add it in there or you can create your own stack. So I'm gonna add one more feature here. So let's just say I wanted screen time. I'm gonna add that in. Now I've got four widgets here. What I can do is actually combine these widgets together and create my own stack. It's a custom stack. I'll tap and hold on the battery power and I can just drag it into one of the other stacks. So I'm gonna drag the screen time also into my battery life. I'll swipe up, and now I can actually swipe between them right there, just like the smart stack did over there. Now you can actually customize how these widgets are gonna look. They don't have to be these simple squares. For example, if we tap and hold again here on the home screen, tap the plus, we can add in for example, our stocks, and you can see how it's more of a horizontal taking up the whole screen. We can also go down to the apps that we have available here, for example, my calendar, and you can swipe and choose how you would like it to look on your home screen. So this one is probably my favorite, the rectangular look, and you can set it up like this. You'll see that it actually moved the bottom row of my apps because now the widgets are taking up more, and it creates a new page for it on the next page. So keep that in mind as well, that as you build up your widgets, it's gonna move the apps over to the next page. Now, if you wanna remove any of these, it's pretty simple as well. So while they're in a stack, you can tap and hold on it. You can edit the stack. So it's gonna allow you to have the smart rotate option where it's gonna rotate on its own to show you what information it feels best for the time of day. You can also remove them. So if you just swipe left, you can delete it. So let's say I don't want my battery there anymore. You can also arrange them if you do wanna switch up the rotation. And then if you wanna delete them completely, you can tap and hold, you can remove the stack completely and tap remove and it's gone. Now it's never gonna delete these applications that the widgets are based on. It's just gonna remove the widget from the home screen. Now tying in with these widgets is the traditional widget setup that you would swipe to the right to look at, and that's gonna show you all the widgets you've already had there previously to updating iOS 14. You'll see this new look to it. You can still scroll down, and it'll allow you to tap edit, and then you can add or remove right from the widgets section. So if you wanted to delete any of them, just tap the minus. If you wanna add any in, tap the plus, and again, you can add any of these widgets right to your widgets bar as well. So let's say I wanted Apple TV, I can tap on that, add widget, it's now there on my widget section, similarly to as it was with iOS 13. So that's pretty much how you add and use widgets with your iOS 14 iPhone device. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And if you found it helpful, be sure to share it on social media. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.